Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaBird 3 15i-i. That's the model. So today we're going to install Windows 10 in UEFI environment. By the way, Lenovo does have few different series. One of them is called IdeaPad, ThinkPad and Yoga. So ThinkPad does have all the functional key to get into BIOS, but the IdeaPad is completely different. They don't have any functional key like F2 or F10 to get into BIOS. Instead of that, if you look at it on the right hand side, regardless the model, you can see right next to the headphone jack connector, there is a little hole in there. And beyond the hole, there is a button which is called Nova button or you could say the BIOS button okay there is more than one option get enabled when you click here that's the reason why it's called Nova button more than getting to BIOS you have many options right there as you can see it says normal startup BIOS setup boot menu system recovery so you have more than one options right here so what we did is we switch it off completely and then we click on the button with a kind of paper clip or something like that or with a needle and then this program startup so first of all you should have a bootable usb thumb drive could be windows 11 or 10 does not matter okay and once it connected then if you get into the bios section you can see information configuration security in boot so in information nothing okay on the security section as you can see the secure boot i'm enabling so if your one is disabled hit enter choose to enable all right and then the next one is tpm intel platform trust technology that's the one if that is disabled you may make it enable for windows 11 or 10 i mean to enhance the security system then get into configuration let's see if there is anything in that section i can see it says one key battery that is fine we don't have to change it anyway don't be confused and then on the boot section as you can see the boot mode says uefi and legacy support because if we enable the secure boot we must have to make the boot mode in uefi once it done press f10 click yes then it's gonna start up but to get into usb boot what you're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold to switch it off completely like before and then we're gonna do i mean the repeat the same thing again take a paper clip click the no button and it's gonna start up and give you a few options at this time we know we're going to get into bios what are you going to do we're going to get into boot menu the third one so go down hit enter now as you can see the top one and the second one is my usb stick starting up without any issues now it takes a while like a couple of minutes it depend on your usb how fast it is if you have a branded sandisk one then it's going to give you the quick like that so from here it's pretty simple as you can see this is the windows setup page you just need to choose whatever you want to choose the language installed time currency and keyboard import method and everything and from here it's pretty simple but i'm going to keep continue until the setup get finished just to see if that is successful by the way while you install any sort of windows i highly recommend to keep your charger connected otherwise it could be get interrupted because of the low battery okay once it's done then accept the terms and condition hit next you can read but you have to accept it otherwise then i'm going to let you go forward so now as you can see there are more than one partition those are the old corrupted windows 
partitions and stuff you might have data in there so before you delete any partition make sure you save you back up your data if you don't have anything you can delete it like that and make a single partition hit next now the actual setup would begin it would take 10 to 15 minutes to get it done so stay with me let's see how it goes and we'll see if the next boot is successful or not Alright, so from here it's pretty simple. This is end of the window setup. They're going to ask you about your region, time and some sort of agreement and acceptance. Either you can choose or you can customize and based on that your Windows security system would behave. Alright, uh, that is pretty simple. I would suggest you not to connect into Wi-Fi if you do that then it's going to take a while because the windows will try to get the updated files and then it's going to restart a couple of times i would suggest you don't do that just say you don't have internet connection put the name and password if you'd like to do and end of this setup you can update it manually that is the much faster way as you can see it's asking about your location if you'd like to turn on find my device this and that you know I most of the option I said no in that way I make Windows in my control rather than giving it to Microsoft you know many different options to spy on so pretty much that's all as you can see the Windows is starting up and it's behaving correctly before I finish this clip I must have to mention one very important part which is the trackpad so while you install Windows your trackpad might get into disable mode which is absolutely fine in that point you can use any sort of external mouse just to finish the Windows setup and once it's done connect into Wi-Fi and then I would suggest you go to update and once you get into update try to update it manually I'll show you how to do that and once you update your windows the trackpad drivers would be installed automatically as you can see now it's not responding so let's show you how to make it work again okay I'm using external wired mouse now and then I'm gonna type check for update and click on check for updates so this is take a while give it a time let's say half an hour or 45 minutes it depend on your internet connection and once all the updates done restart it and you can go to manage and check if all the drivers have been up to date as i can see still a lot of them is not up to date sometimes when you try in that way it's get failure but that's fine as i said go to windows update leave it for a while and after a couple of restart your trackpad will come back everything will be fine you don't have to worry about it that's what happened while you install it's completely it straight away goes to disable mode it doesn't respond anything now as you can see say everything is fine this is the same procedure you can follow to install either windows 11 or 10 Alright, so if you still have any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to reply, answer your question. And if you do like any part of this video, I would suggest you please do subscribe to this channel, like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.